Hi, I'm Karan from Team Must. In this video, you will learn how to create an exception of your own. So, in order to for a class to uh, to be defined as an exception, it has to be an instance of the throwable class. This Java dot lang dot throwable class is the super class of errors and exceptions in the Java language. Only objects that are instances of this throwable class are thrown by the JVM or can be thrown by the Java throw statements. And the exception class is the subclass of this throwable class. So let's look at this diagram. The throwable class is a superclass of error and exception. And exception is a superclass of IO exception and runtime exception. So in Java there are three types of exceptions. The three types of exceptions are checked exceptions, error and runtime exceptions so in order to learn more about exceptions you can refer the link below in the description of the video so let's begin with how to create an exception of your own so here we have a project named as exception demo and we'll create a new class named as Age validation exception. So, for a class to be defined as an exception, it has to be an instance of the throwable class, which can be done by extending the exception class, which is the child class of the throwable class, extends exception. We will create a default constructor here and we will include the parameterize constructors too. The first one will have a message and it will call the parent class constructor with the message. We can also include that the super keyword here, and again we'll create another parameterized constructor of throwable, throwable, just paste it here and now we have another parameterized constructor of two parameters message and throwable so the exception class is completed now so now what we'll do is we'll create a user class This user class is just a template. It will have the age of the user. Now we'll generate the default constructor and the parameterized constructor. Select all. Okay. Now we'll generate the getters and setters. Select all. Okay. Control Shift F for the formatting, and now we'll create a new class named as Voting. It will have a single method public static void apply. This method will throw an exception if the age of the user is less than 19 so it will accept a user type object now we will take a boolean variable here boolean is valid age equals to set it to true first the age is valid basically what we are trying to do is do here is the user will apply for voting by calling this method over here 
so when the user call this method from the main class the system will throw a checked exception that is in the compile time so the user has to handle that exception by either throwing the throw statement or by the try catch block so if user dot get age is less than 19 he cannot apply for voting and I'll set is valid age equals to false the age is not valid so now I'll check if valid age is false then the exception will be thrown which is in case I'll message um, the message will be not eligible for voting and I'll throw the exception throw new exception of the age validation type and include a message over here and this method will throw the exception throws age validation exception this exception will be handled by the method which calls this apply method in the voting class so else if the exception does not occur a message will be displayed to the screen eligible for voting so now let's go ahead and create a main class and also include a main method finish now here we'll create a new user equals to new user and we'll pass the age as let's say 12 and we'll try to apply for voting by calling the voting dot apply and we'll pass the user object and you can see the error comes over here because it says unhandled exception type age validation validation exception so we have to handle it by either uh, the try cache block so we'll go ahead and handle that exception each releasing exception and we'll print the message over here which is um, e dot get message and so here it is let's go ahead and run this so when the user age is 12 it says not eligible for voting so let's change this age to 21 and run it it says eligible for voting because the age is greater than 19 and let's go ahead and enter 35 again for just testing purposes okay it says eligible for voting so here is how we created the exception of your own type like the age relation exception if the age is less than 19 you can throw the exception so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching it please subscribe thank you